Chair and uh, witnesses, I know it's been a very long day, and while I understand this is such an important topic for us, I do truly wish we were having hearings on our, the threats to our food supply, the crisis at our border, the Afghan evacuee vetting crisis, and even the administration's withdrawal from it, Afghanistan. Um, but we're not, but this is what we're doing today, and my questions are for Dr. Moetti. Um, and I know we don't have a lot of time, so I'll go through these questions, but I come from a state, uh, the state of New Mexico, where obviously late-term abortion is still alive and well. Uh, I don't support that, but what I do want to ask you is some specific questions about um, the procedure as a whole. And is it true that abortion procedures change based on the gestational age and size of the unborn child? So if I could finish answering my question from before. No, thank you. Please answer my question. And your question again? Is it true that abortion procedures change based on the gestational age and size of the unborn child? So abortion procedures are individualized to the person, where they're at in the pregnancy, their unique medical circumstances, and the setting in which we're providing the care. So what surgical abortion procedures are typically used in early pregnancy? So as far as procedural abortion, mm -hmm. typically early pregnancy, what is offered is either with medications or the procedure is called a dilation and as a, a dilation and curatage or an aspiration abortion. Thank you. Um, and why is this procedure not used later in pregnancy? This procedure is also used later in pregnancy. We just also use other instruments to help us remove the pregnancy. Okay, I thought it was because the tissues grow firmer, so it's a more difficult abortion process. And I might be wrong there. So uh, that is exactly what I just explained, that I use the same technique, but I add additional instruments. Great. And what abortion procedures are typically used after uh, 15 weeks gestation? The same abortion procedure I just described. We use a combination of gently dilating the cervix using medications and dilators, and then removing the pregnancy using suction and instruments. So more, these are more along the line of the dis, uh, dismemberment abortion. That is not a medical term. But it is used. That is not the, a medical term. The procedure. The procedure is called a dilation and evacuation. So equal to dismemberment. That is not a medical term. Well, I just want to make sure that the public can understand exactly what we're talking about, because we're talking about dismembering a baby with a heartbeat. I'm not here to lie to the public. Well, I'm not here either, not to lie to the public, but I do want to speak truth to the public, and so let's call it what it is. I'm going to say dismemberment. You don't have to respond to that, but we all know that's exactly what it is, and people need to understand what we're talking about when we're dismembering arms and legs and of a beating heart baby from a mother. So thank you um, for those answers. I would now 